need to educate stupid people. So, I guess I'll, I'll start this by educating stupid people. So, I didn't cause this. It's not nothing to do with me, really, at the end of the day. It's just how stupid people are, or cold. I don't know which one it is. I'd rather think of them as stupid than cold. Um, so, if you didn't hear, someone got Wendy's meal for Jason, and Jason, you know, split it in half for me to eat, because we don't really have that much food in the house. Um, so, we split and ate it together. So, the person who gave the food got mad about it, because apparently they put a, a little comment down saying, don't share it with Shannon, she could lose a few meals. Okay, so let me let me point this out. Um, I've been losing a lot of weight lately, and the doctors don't know why. But um, also, these people, these same people, they like to peg me as having diabetes. So you're telling me you think I have diabetes and you're telling me that I need to skip meals having diabetes do you know anything about diabetes you do realize that skipping a meal if you have diabetes can be uh, life-threatening right like someone's blood sugar could go super low and they could fucking die I'm sure there's a lot of people who have had diabetes, who can tell you the worst thing you could do if you have diabetes is um, skip a meal. Because your blood sugar will either go really high or really low, and you could go into a coma and die from that. But, you know, have it, them saying I have diabetes and I, I can use a couple skip meals for my diabetes it's obvious their ignorance to what diabetes is and how dangerous skipping a meal with diabetes would be so okay so let me get this straight either a you're ignorant to what diabetes is and what can make it worse or b you you think I have diabetes and you know about skipping meals can cause death and you want me to die. So which one is it, Miss I'm a good person? Which one is it? Just wondering. See, this is the reason why a lot of people hate me. Um, because I call them out on their bullshit. I call them out on their evil tendencies. And I correct it by actually giving proper education. No. I did not get my blood work to say I had diabetes. I'm just saying what other people say I have. So, yeah. Telling someone who you think have diabetes they should skip their meals is incredibly dangerous. And um, you're going to kill someone someday by that. And it'll be your fault for giving such bad information out to someone and try to guilt someone into not eating when they should. So their blood levels are stabilized. I'm just saying, I'm just really sick of stupid, ignorant people in this world. Uh, you know, and, and not only are they, they stupid and ignorant, but they're mean-spirited at the same time. So you got stupid, ignorance, and mean-spirited arrogance 
within this massive amount of people in, instead of looking that other people are watching you say these things to someone and it's not a good look like you could you could go say whatever you want to me you're still attacking me at the end of the day you're still making yourself look bad by attacking me you think just by attacking me other people are going to look at you as a good person no not even close they're going to look at you as someone who likes to attack others based on what they think is wrong with them medically Yeah, the hay fever is a little bit better today. Uh, please stop telling me what the fuck to do with my goddamn body. But, um... You could cut out some calories. How many calories do you think I should cut out, huh? Since you know my diet so well. No. Fucking idiots. <laughs> I know, right? It's insane. <laughs> I probably consumed less ca uh, calories today than most of you people here. Just, just to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know. Well, thank you, Free and Little Fancy, for that. Gas Mask says Jason looks so handsome. He is. Oh my God. Thank you. He is. He's, he's, he's my rock. And he's there for me no matter what. I love you. I love you. You know? We just love each other unconditionally no matter what happens. And that's how it's going to be. Hi, Charlie. How are you, but telling someone who you think has diabetes they should cut out meals, let me just send this, is incredibly stupid and dangerous and you could possibly kill someone. I suggest you look it up how dangerous it is and dangerous it is to uh, stop eating when you have diabetes. Just see what happens. Just research and educate yourself for once before you open your mouth and look incredibly dumb. I, I just... It's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard is telling someone they think is diabetic they should skip meals. It's either you're being really stupid or you're purposely being malicious and wanting to kill someone. I don't know which one it is. That's that's for you to know what your intentions are, but frankly, I really wouldn't want to have anything to do with someone who is either that ignorant or that cruel to someone who they think has diabetes. Sorry. Simple as that. Like there there there's been patients of mine that I've taken care of where I had to persuade them. I couldn't force them, but I had to persuade them to eat because their blood sugar was dropping. Thank you. Very dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. So stop doing that to people over the internet. Because you think you know it all. When the fact is, you can't go and watch someone on video 
hear someone else's opinion on that person and then expect to think that you know all about them. You, you don't. You're literally listening to rumors and gossip. I don't need to prove anything about my medical history. Those people. You know I have a right to privacy anyway. Uh, well, both hyper and hypoglycemic are bad. Yeah, exactly. But you said you don't have it, so you don't need to eat. No. Uh, I do need to eat. I am a human. I do have energy, and I do bleed between my legs. The fact that people are trying to force me to be anorexic is pretty fucked up. Sorry. That's pretty fucked up. Trying to force someone to be anorexic because they don't like how their particular body looks. That fat shaman, that, that shaman someone about how their body looks. When they don't even know the details of what's going on with their body. You know, people who are bigger, they may have a hormonal imbalance. It may not have anything to do with food. But most people are so fucking ignorant about that. That they think it's just about food. Because they're fucking ignorant idiots. Thank you, Charlie. And there's places where you can go and talk because you're not welcome here, so... Toodles. There's places for Jason to go to eat. Jesus, God. Are you eating right now? Yeah, I am. Yeah, he's eating right now, you idiot. I'm eating cereal right now. Yep. Get my greens. Thank you very much. Oh, honey, no, you're not supposed to eat that. I'm supposed to eat it all. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That's supposed to be my food, don't you know? I'm supposed to eat it all. Understood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. uh. There, I threw them a little fucking bone. Maybe they'll nibble on it for a little bit and not realize what fucking sarcasm is. I can tell you about a huh. certain individual. Huh. He's going to talk to the person that donated on the phone about it. Ooh. Can you believe that? Ooh. No. You want to keep food from Shani, I'll give it all to her. You should have not said that, and then I would have just probably eaten the meal on my own. Depending on what happened with Shannon. It's the most stupidest thing to bitch and complain about and try to make someone look evil is a man and wife sharing a meal. Ridiculous. A man and a wife sharing a meal, and they're trying to make it into a big controversy. That's how fucking lame and stupid they are. Well, I decided this. Do you want me to address anything? Or no? No, it's All okay. Right. I don't need to fucking explain it. I'm just saying it's incredibly dangerous yeah. to s tell someone who they think has diabetes they should skip meals. Mm -hmm. That's definitely They're going to fucking kill someone that way. Has nothing to do with me at the end of the day. I'm thinking about people who actually do have diabetes and hear shit like that and think it's okay. <sighs> like, the ignorance of people, the ignorance of people telling me that I shouldn't eat. Imagine if someone was that abusive to you, because that is abuse, period. That's abusive, is not having someone eat. Telling someone they shouldn't eat. 
forcing someone to not eat. It's abusive. Yeah. So you can go look abusive to people. That's 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 cool. That that'll look real cool on you. You know. You could go look that way to people. I'm I. I'm just sheerly shocked by the sheer ignorance of a so-called community that's filled with doctors, nurses, and scientists. <laughs> I'm just kind of shocked at the stupidity, and it just makes me realize no wonder our medical field is shit, Man, and our point. science field is shit. Because most of the people from the medical and science field are giving bad information to people over the internet because they don't like them. That's some petty ass shit there. That's some dumbass fucking shit. That's some childish fucking shit. And not only that, but it goes completely against your Hippocratic oath that you took. You think just because... You, you, you're on the internet, your Hippocratic Oath goes out the door? No. Or do you have no honor or sincerity to you? I don't know. Which one is it? See, I know exactly why people don't like me. Because I tell them how it is. Straightforward. And I don't care if they get mad at me for it. Because... I'd rather have people properly educated when it comes to dealing with people with diabetes than putting it out there that it's okay to skip meals if you're diabetic. No. You should not skip meals if you're diabetic. That's incredibly dangerous. Do not listen to these insane, ignorant people. Do not listen to them. You, you could kill yourself by doing it. You could go into a coma. Your blood sugar can drop tremendously real fucking fast. Like, I, I had gestational diabetes. I know how it feels to have diabetes. In case you don't know what gestational diabetes is, it's, it's, it's diabetes caused by pregnancy. The hormones in pregnancy cause can cause diabetes. I'm, the, I had it twice in both pregnancies. They told me it was going to happen in my other pregnancy. You know, you most likely your next pregnancy you're going to have it again. I'm like, yeah, I know. You know, so while I was pregnant, I went on a diabetic diet. I pretty much still eat that way. Um, cause I really do like the diabetic diet. Um. When you're poor, though, it makes it a lot more tougher. You know. Just to make it, just to make a point. Do you know a piece of bread has more carbs than a Snickers bar. A piece of bread is worse for your blood sugar than a Snickers bar, is what I'm trying to say. It's got more of a glucose count. How am I feeling? Not good. Very low energy today. Um, but have a migraine to tell you the truth and going through countless hot flashes and cold flashes so I, I, I could do better anyway I could be better there's no way I can be better right now though cause I have to go through the hormonal change of the month I hate being a woman for that reason. But despite that and my cycle, 
Yeah, please stop telling people who you think have diabetes that they should skip meals. Especially when you're from a community full of doctors, nurses, and, and scientists. Please stop putting that ignorant shit out there. This is a little shanty PSA. Uh, if you're diabetic, please don't skip your meals. Please eat every single meal. It is important to maintain your blood sugar levels. It is extremely dangerous and you could kill yourself. But I figure most of you would know that. But some people don't. So please stop being ignorant. That's dangerous ignorance. It is. Actually, yeah. Malicious. <laughs> no, bread is not a good... You will not... Don't... It's not in the diabetic diet is bread. Dude, it's not. It's not. The glycemic index on wheat bread is horrible. It's horrible. Um, I know, right? It's like, you gotta look into this stuff before you say something. Like, everyone needs to start looking into stuff before they say something. Because you're telling someone who knows better that they should do something incredibly stupid and dangerous and it's like I mean I'm not diabetic but if I was I definitely would say how stupid it is and, and saying it over online I'm definitely gonna say how stupid it is because I don't want people to get in harm's way thinking they can fast when they have diabetes No, Snickers aren't good. I'm just saying that the glycemic index on wheat bread is higher than a Snickers bar. I'm just saying. I'm not telling you to eat Snickers instead of fucking bread. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying how bad bread is on the glycemic index. Thank you, Ashley. No, it's not. It's not like you can use cheese or eggs for a bread. You can make, um, what is it, cloud bread, and it's with eggs. It's kind of like a souffle almost, how it's made. But it's made with eggs, and you can use it like a sandwich if you want a sandwich instead of, you know, the wheat. But I just want to put that PSA out there for people. Um, why don't you, um, Ashley, why don't you DM me and I'll put it in there in the DM. Or I'll DM you either way. <sighs> My ex-brother-in-law would have my sister make a... Sorry about that. Make an almost keto-type bread. He was born diabetic. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I just... I'm not dealing with people who... Are gonna put people in harm's way. And I'm certainly... I certainly have to say something if they're gonna put people in harm's way. Even if it was an insult toward me... It doesn't matter. It's still, like, there's people who listen to that stuff. And I don't want them, like, hurt. <sighs> because of people's stupid, mean ignorance over the internet. Like, <sighs> I, I, I think what it is, is people don't understand how pow powerful words can actually be. 
And they can be very powerful. And to tell someone to do something dangerous is not a good thing. You know, it's not. Like, quit the shit with me. I don't do anything with anyone. I, I just try to live my life. And, um, be me. Anyway, peace and Maranatha, people. I'm heading off. Probably gonna go to sleep. I'll get a hold of you right away, Ashley. Alright, I'll be right... I'll see you when I see you. I love you guys. Thank you for listening.